Hey Nick here from MS Power User and today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 build 14361. This build is recently released for Windows Insiders living on the fast ring on the PC and mobile devices. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Diving straight in, we're going to look at some iconography changes like we always do. As you can see, the Action Center icon when quiet hours is enabled has been updated with this wireframe UI and it looks pretty snazzy and in addition we have the network icon has been updated and it is the baby of the Wi-Fi and Ethernet icons that kind of makes sense because of this pane here is the embodiment of the aggregation of your wired and wireless networks now I'm gonna accidentally click this and I've done so twice already so I like the globe, but I mean, if they're going to do this, then they're going to do this. I can't stop them, but I like the globe, to be honest. Now, this build is really all about UX improvements and stability. So one of the major improvements is obviously going to be what we see. So basically, let's look at start. So follow my mouse and notice the scroll bars. You'll see that they sync together. This is due to some logic changing within this build. So basically what they did is they made the scroll bars detect where your mouse was. And if it's near the scroll bar, then obviously it will display. If it's not in the pane, then it will disappear. Now, this is different than the interface that we had earlier because it took about 10 seconds for the scroll bars to disappear. And that was just tacky. Like if you looked at it, you'd see two scroll bars for about maybe seven seconds on average. And it didn't look good. So they changed that and it looks pretty nice. And of course, you still got the hamburger menu over here. You should really darken this to create contrast, but oh well. Now, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea where Microsoft is going with this, but Cortana has been updated. And the cards are now hidden until you manually activate them. And of course, this goes to the help page. But if you want to activate the cards, what you can do is you can either swipe in this region or you can click this what's new for you button. I'm just going to swipe. And as you can see, my cards are now in Cortana. I mean, no, not hey Cortana. They're in Cortana. No. Okay, so in recent builds, there have been some syncing improvements, and this is still bugged. I don't have four Windows phones, I have one, and that's my Microsoft Lumia 640. You also can't click this. You need to click this. A moment of silence for the UX designers. So, in addition, what we can do is see that the Windows Settings UI has been updated. It's now white on black or black on white if you're using the, um, the light theme. Now, I don't like this UI, and I'm going to be frank. It just is too simple. The 10,586 user interface looked better because it added contrast and a bit more flavor to the... Uh, to the screen, at least in my opinion. My ideal interface would be the 10586 with these app icons because it brings contrast and flavor to the OS. And they're probably going to keep this to the release version, but rip 10586. I mean, these are just my opinions, just that's how the user interface is in its current state. Now, like I said, this build was also released for mobile devices, so we're going to take a look at one major change regarding them as well. So if we open up an app, and let's say we wanted to use the keyboard, right? Like I said, I'm using my Microsoft Lumia 640. What I can do is move the keyboard now. now a bit of backstory here. The keyboard, we had this feature, and it was for select keyword there, devices that were five inches and higher. Now, the 640 was absent from the list. Why? I have no idea. But they added the 640 and I believe the 830 to the supported devices for this feature. I mean, I'm personally not gonna use it because I don't have any benefits in moving a keyboard uh, two inches on a screen. But, oh well, for those of you who have the um, tendency to put your hands up high on your phone, I don't know anyone personally who does, but you know, there are those people. You can uh, use your keyboard like that, so that works out. It, it looks like it'd be better for like seven inch devices, but I don't know about five. But yeah, 
those are the major features that are within this build. Now, there is one major bug that I want to point out right now. It's for those peoples in France. Apparently, you can't download this build because of a localization error or uh, corruption within the flighting. Now, I don't know exactly how bad this must have been, but I'm assuming that large, like really large portions of the OS were in English and they didn't want to release that to um, the French community. I, I don't know why. I mean, it's one of the risks of being an insider anyways. It clearly says on their page, some areas may only be in English due to localization, lack thereof. But it's it's just stated there. I'm not sure exactly why they didn't push the build. But if you really want this build, you can find it. Uh, certain peoples have actually posted links to the build so you can actually download it there. So yes, these are all the improvements in this build. How do you like this build? Tell us in the comments and see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me at Look It's Nicholas on Twitter. Bye bye.